um, going to try to crack through another box and maybe even a bag and a basket. Uh, I pulled a few things out. Let's just say I have little spaces where things are everywhere. These weren't really, didn't have a home so much. They were just kind of piled on top of other things. So we'll look through that and then we will see what we see and maybe truncate stuff or, you know, put it somewhere else. You know, move it around, organize it. That's what I always try to do. But now that I'm doing it with you, then it's kind of more motivating. You know. All right. First thing is a box, you know, just an envelope box. I like these kind of boxes. They're a little sturdy. It doesn't sound like there's a whole much in it. Uh, I don't know, hauntinghorror.com. If you haven't realized it yet, I'm a huge uh, horror nut. I've been in the horror scene for a while in Chicago. Basically 2009 was the golden age of the horror scene in Chicago. And now it's just keep going. You know, that's just in my opinion. That's when a lot of people kind of converged and it really kind of flourished. That's, I feel like that's when it really blossomed in that time. And I met a lot of my friends during that time too. And that's how the community kind of, for me specifically, that's for me. All right. First thing, boxy box. It's kind of empty. All right, let's see. All right, well, this is one of my wedding party favors, like in its entirety. Um, so yeah, this is what was in it. We saw the pieces in my other thing. I had put like little fall a little foliage in there, fake foliage, obviously, because uh, it was an enchanted forest theme. And then so this has, you know, the date that we got married and the little stag and the stag kind of reminds me of my dad so this was representing him and then we had your attendance was key to a magical night thank you yeah that's what it says and then you know the key see in this little bag that was just a little way of you know the thank you party papers people seem to enjoy the key I've given a few keys out since and they're like oh I lost the key can I have another key I'm like yeah sure which is kind of cool, I like that. All right, so one of these, and that's gonna go in that other Doom box that I had that's mostly wedding stuff, because it's what we're trying to do, kids. All right, I don't know, a little bag of weird stuff. Let's see, let's see. Weird, naughty, but nice stickers of me and one of my buddies from a good bazillion years ago. I can't even remember where it was specifically, but they're cute, and we both got like I don't know, like 24 little baby stickers. Now this is one of my pictures that I took 100 years ago. My buddy actually had like a giant fish tank in his backyard and these were just kind of laying in it because he set this up as one of the parties for one of his kid's birthday and that was really cool and these are really cute and I really enjoyed it and I took a bunch of pictures. Ah, this is a picture of me and my ex-husband. We'll leave this here. However, I'm very blonde in this picture. I was very blonde until I turned 30. And then I became not so blonde. I wasn't always blonde. Let's just say that. Uh, Ron John Surf Shop. One of a kind. Okay, in Cocoa Beach, Florida. I don't really need this. So this will be put in the go away somewhere south pile. Because I don't really need it. I don't surf. I don't really care. But man, back in the 80s, I was so obsessed with like the OP and everything, Ocean Pacific, those shirts, and a lot of them were all sleeveless. I used to wear sleeveless shirts all the time. Ah, uh, an old insurance card. We'll put that for now over where all of my, uh, up here is where all of my like business cards and stuff live. So we'll just throw it back up there. Oh. And then change you could believe in Obama 2008 with something attached to it. Obama rebuild the economy. Vote for hold Wall Street accountable Biden. Home of free speech. This I got up in Lincoln Park somewhere. There was a festival and that all kind of showed up. So yeah, those are my political posts. I had mentioned in one of my previous posts that I used to be very, uh, news driven. I had been political since I was, even before I was able to vote, I used to be a voters registrar. 
but yeah so these are more just memory guys so these will all be placed in one of those memory boxes that I have already started accumulating actually one of them's kind of gotten full so we'll see maybe this box will be the new memory box uh, these are just like a list of all like photo files that I have so that can go in the garbage because who knows who knows yeah but trash trash okay I don't know I used to win a whole bunch of weird free things all the time this is a quarantine uh, marketing piece of marketing when quarantine came out and day glow so maybe we'll put these in the into the cell too because again you know cool but I've had it forever maybe somebody else would really like it ah. this is a film festival uh, for a company that I used to write and do photos for way long time time and time and time ago but what year I don't even know because I don't even think that we put like years on things honestly no. we have a list of times and movies but 2008 looks like the most recent of the films so I would say eight or nine yeah I'll keep it just because it's a memory of something that I have done in the past this is an old dental appointment card like, say goodbye to old dentist. I love my dentist, by the way. Super love my dentist. She's great. Uh, it's Lynch Dental over in River Forest, I believe, in Illinois. Oh. Funny. Oh, a million years ago, uh, my old roommate and I, we went to this place. It was near a, st a store called Needful Things. Uh, up in, over by uh, Lincoln on Chicago, like Lincoln and western area and we went to um, an intuitive like health person kind of thing it was like one of those holistic expo where people had like you know you could get your tarot cards read you could get your palms read you could get whatever and then this was a health person and she wrote high fructose corn syrup is the number one thing that you need to eliminate from your life yeah so anyway uh, I am really allergic to corn now so she was so spot on the money I mean I think most people should get rid of high fructose corn syrup just because but but nobody even knows how much corn is in everything so it's pretty crazy that's why I wear my little guy one of the reasons um, yeah but the very first thing is high fructose corn syrup and then corn soy wheat sugar eggs dairy and peanuts so yeah I don't really eat much well I can't really eat a whole lot of eggs because chickens eat a lot of corn and so a lot of things are kind of corny so I don't really eat chicken I don't really eat that not really uh, dairy I'm actually also allergic to most dairy so I think it's kind of funny and I'm allergic to soy and I do eat wheat that's the only one pretty much out of the list that she didn't but yeah so yeah this woman maybe about maybe about six or eight years before I got diagnosed listed all the things pretty much that I got allergic to she good she was uncanny this is empty but that's also why my hair is gray because there's probably the the whatever was going on in the hair dye was not reacting well with my booty so I just kind of stopped and there's a lot of uh, corn caking powder like anything that makes things caking uh, that's a lot of corn so I don't wear makeup because there's corn in a whole bunch of makeup it's a fun time all right so this is a memory we'll just put this we're gonna make this a new memory box for now because that little uh, the little scar box that I had is a little, little getting stuffed so we'll see what's up all right so this guy we'll just put down here for now there might be times I like that it's big enough that I could you know kind of shove a lot of fatty things if there's a lot of fatty things in there okay right, so the next bag is the bag itself is from scavenge parts it's a little psychedelic oh, you know one of those guys all right so the first thing that we've got 
a happy birthday and from my nephew's niece I mean she's my niece now because we're together and you know and we've grown up with her forever uh, but yeah cute she's still an artist and she makes really cute things and we've, we've grabbed some random things oh look this is what I used to look like that was me when I had red hair my mouth would chances be bigger and my eyes are pretty big in this so you know and then a happy late birthday and love you I'm thinking this is from his nephew but hey there was a gift for you and I'm sure that there was a gift card in there but yeah I love art I love kid art I love art from you know people drawing whatever okay this is just an empty an empty Cygnus box that had some random you know marketing stuff in it it's a cute little box we're gonna keep it and put random little stuff in it but this is going to we'll have to think about it and this will be like look designated this is for this weird thing kind of thing I don't know that's the problem because I don't like getting rid of things like that because it would just go into the trash okay meow 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 one of those little, 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 little we're gonna get rid of those too we're gonna maybe have like a little baggie full of random stuff and try to sell just the whole bag at the thing kind of like you know miscellaneous oh trick or treat little stickers that we got a few years ago from the dollar stores dollar store trick or treats we'll put that over there as part of the thing to get rid of Okay, look, even more wedding -y stuff. All right, butter, butter, butterflies. Butterflies. So if you couldn't tell, butterflies were in various places. This was a part of our wedding invitation. So yeah, the whole, the like, the whole envelope was black, and then it had this. See, and again, the stag. That was that was the theme. You know how that goes things have themes on oh, another key and more little leafy guys so yeah. where is that gonna go we're gonna put that all in the same place with all the other ones so then if I do a thing then I know where it's all at so this and this and we're just gonna put those boop, boop, booms. we're gonna throw all those in the wedding in the in the skull had wedding box. All right, so there's that. Next thing, ah. Chicago Horror Film Festival staff. Back in the day, I actually I was doing. I took a bunch of photos for them, and I got to meet Reggie from Phantasm and his wife, and they were super cool. And I also uh, met the dude that was in. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the the brother. So he was he was a very nice person. His mind his mind escapes me. As everybody's no, uh, his name escapes me. But this I'm just gonna keep for a regular lanyard. Put this in the you know in case you need it pile, like where the shoelaces and stuff go. Okay. I don't know why, but I'm sure it has something to do with art. But I got a random it's cardboard pieces. They're not even in specific shapes. They're square-ish, you know, but you could use these to like, like put something and put something and then it's like a shadow kind of thing. I don't know if that's why that's there. I don't know. All right, and then a cover of a candle, which will turn into garbage. I mean, chances are I was saving it because I could do art inside of that. Just throwing that out just made me go, because oh, I'm talking about the art and what I could do. Oh, look, an old box that I did like 100 years ago. This is just with like, I don't know, that stick em stuff, you know, the contact paper. So yeah, just random contact paper on this. But I've always loved my little boxes, but this has got nothing in it. So I don't know, we'll just shove that over there for now. See, that's it, it's always there. But if I could shove all the weird boxes in one little weird box area, then I'll know. Uh, speaking of, 
good things come in pink boxes. Uh, this is actually from a donut box from Voodoo Donuts up in Oregon, which uh, we went to for my... I think oh, we went up there for my birthday and a pre honeymoon kind of thing. So that was back in maybe around 2015. And that's when I finished my continental United States uh, bucket list items. So yeah, that was my main one to visit all the continental United States and do something in each of the states. I didn't actually have to sleep over, but I had to do something in each of the states at the very least. So uh, that was fun. Yeah, I actually I I accomplished it, I think, like two years, two years before my goal. So that was pretty groovy. But yeah, mm, the donuts here were really good. Even though, you know, I was allergic to them because they have all those things that I mentioned before. So yeah, but uh, I like, I like little things and I like, you know, obviously. So I'm going to have to have, find a place where I put all of my little pieces of paper that I've cut out because that's, that's what I do. Uh, just two thin sticks for art stuff small paintbrush for art stuff this is going to go with the art stuff those files I'm never gonna use it if I don't know where it is right uh oh foddy 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 paper this is glossy photo paper you know because of all the different photos that I have taken in the past I don't really even print them out in my house anymore I don't really print them out anymore uh okay this Obviously, it's just a uh, bag to put something on. This is one of my bases for my art, for my art pieces. So yeah, this obviously this is uh, getting to do an art box box. So this box is done, which is groovy, and I'm going to use that as you know the trash box because I don't think anybody. I'm not going to regift that to anybody. So unfortunately, it's got to go 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 ba ba ba. Uh, 